it's Wednesday, it's band class. We're gonna use um, a few bands today. So if you've got a thicker band for your legs when you need it for your legs and the thinner band, we're gonna start doing quite a lot of upper body shoulder stuff. So we're gonna use our lighter bands for that. Okay, so let's get going. Start your watch if you need. We're gonna do our dynamic warm up today. So let's go breathing out. Let's roll those shoulders. Very nice. Loosening off, especially after a long day sitting at a desk. Very nice. Taking those arms out to the side and rolling the shoulders. Get your back moving as well. Loosen everything off. That's it. Twisting your thoracic spine. Perfect. Very nice. All right, big shoulder circles. Breathing out. That's it. We're going to start with our dynamic warm up today. <clears throat> and then we're going to grab our lighter band and do some shoulder stuff. So grabbing your knee up in front of you and changing sides. Breathing out as you lift. Perfect. Focusing on your balance. Warming up muscles, joints, nerves. That's it, breathing out. Last one. All right, grabbing under your shin and under your knee and pulling that leg up, stretching your glutes. And change. Nice. Very good, that was much better balance. Ooh, as I say that I start to fall. Breathing out. One more. Nice. Now grabbing your foot. You want to squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your bottom. Tuck your hips under and stretch. If you need to hold on to something, you can. And change. And good. Thank you. Good, good, good. I am warm. Perfect. Do you want to mute yourself? We're just doing our quad stretch. Glad you could join us. Good, let's go for one more each side. Breathing out, Felix, all good. And last time. Right, now on this last one, we're gonna reach it forward. Find a spot to focus. And coming up, very nice, changing sides. And reaching forward. And coming up, perfect. Let's cross your right leg over your left, reaching down to the ground and coming up, opening up in between, palms open and change sides, left over right. Nice, two more each side, breathing out. Good job and change. Nice. Last time each side, and then we're going to start with our shoulder workout today. And last time, make sure you open up, and when you go down, relax your head all the way. Very nice. I'm going to come on my knees just so that you can see me closer. You guys can stay standing. So you're either going to use a nice light band that you've got, or if you have a TheraBand one, a long band, you can use that as well. So we're gonna activate our shoulders and we're really gonna try and work out the, our low trapezius to relax the upper trapezius. So if you've got a nice light band, that's perfect. You can put it around your hands or if you've got a TheraBand, you can hold it. Either way, that's perfect. All right. So standing up nice and tall, holding the TheraBand or having it in your hands, you wanna set those shoulders down and back. Squeeze, you're welcome to stand up. I'm gonna just kneel so I'm closer. And from here, we're gonna breathe out. I want you to pull your shoulders and your hands towards the floor and pull those arms out. And relax. So as you're doing this, you really wanna dig your hands towards the floor, pulling those shoulders down, taking those arms out. And relax, very nice. So you wanna think of Pulling those shoulders down, tummy in, breathing out, pull, lift your chest, and down, nice, it's a small movement, focusing on pulling those shoulders down and back, let's go, breathing out, 
Try and touch your hands to the floor. Now pull them out. Hold it there. I'm lifting my chest, but I'm not letting my back arch. And relax. Let's go for five more. Breathing out. Try and touch this floor with your hands. And push. That's it. Three more. Really squeeze those shoulders down. Actively try and touch the floor with your hands. Opening up those shoulders a little bit and relax. Two more. Make sure on a breath out, you strengthen those shoulders. Arms are dead straight, pulling out. And down, one more. Breathing out. That's it, lifting that chest. Beautiful, all right. Now we're gonna lift the arms up. Now from here, you've still got the band around your hands. You wanna go into a shrug. So what I tell you always not to do, and now you're gonna pull those shoulders away from your ears and pull those arms out. I want the arms to be straight if you can, really squeeze those shoulders down. Shrug them all the way back up, take the hands relaxed, and breathing out, pull them down, push against that band. Pulling those shoulder blades down and back. That's it, and relax. From the back, it looks like this. Breathing out. Really squeezing those shoulder blades down and back. And up, tummy pulled in. Same thing if you're holding the band, exactly the same. Breathing in, we hold it tighter. Breathing out. Pulling it away, pull. Shoulders down and back, so I'm squeezing between my shoulder blades. And up, we've got three more. Squeeze, shrug them up and then pull them down, squeezing open, pull those shoulder blades down and back. You wanna try and have those arms straight, Felix, if possible, because if they're bent, you're doing more of that. And I want it really to be the shoulder blades doing the work, so my elbows are dead straight. Nice, and up, have your hands a little bit in front of you. And breathing out from a shrug, pulling down, pulling out. Tummy pulled in. That's it. And relax it down. Roll those shoulders out. We're not quite done with that yet. Okay, we're going to take the arms back up. And from here, we're going to bend over and pull that arm down. And coming up. Shrug the shoulders, pull them down, going to the side, pull the shoulder blades away, pull the arm down, hold it, and up, that's it. If you've got a theraband, that's perfect. So breathing out, take the arms over, pull that arm down, hold it, slowly up. The slowly up is the importance as well, shoulders down and back, Bend over to the other side, alternating, and pull that arm down. That's it. We've got two more each side. Shoulder blades down, breathing out. Side bend. Nice, coming back up. Woo. This is hard work. Breathing out, shoulder blades down. Side bend. Perfect, one more each side. Make sure those shoulder blades are relaxed. Down, side bend and pull. And up, last time. That's it. Very nice. Now, because you've both actually got a TheraBand, I'm just gonna add something. If you've got either the normal band, I don't know if Steve's got for you yet, otherwise you don't worry about it. So Thank if you've you. got a TheraBand, that's perfect. If not, you can use the other band. From here, we're gonna take those arms up and over, just mobilizing the shoulders. And then back. If you don't have a band, you can do this with a towel, or you can even do it with a broom or a stick. It's a little bit easier with a band, because we can stretch it out. And then take the arms all the way back over to the front. With one of these bands, it's a little bit harder, 
but it can be done with a bit of a bent arm. That's it, because they're a little bit narrow. So you're literally loosening off those shoulders. Open it as wide as you need to. Coming over and coming round. Have a little bit of tension on the band to start. Let's go for two more. Opening up those shoulders, nice. Beautiful, last one. That's it, all right. And just relax it down, let those arms hang, swing side to side like a rag doll. And curling up. Right, we're gonna go into our band work with our legs. So, grabbing your band, you're gonna put it around your feet or your ankles. So not around your knees just yet. We're gonna have your band around your feet. If you don't have a band, it's okay. So, with the band, tummy pull in band around your feet. We're gonna do a sideways walk. Honey, I'm gonna give you an exercise if you don't have your bands yet. Tummy pull in. You're gonna breathe out, we're gonna go for 45. Honey, you're gonna stand. And without a band, just do abduction. Okay, on one leg for 45, then another leg for 45. The others are going sideways. So, if you don't have a band, you're just lifting up and down. If you're walking sideways, make sure you're not penguin walking. Keep going, honey, you keep going with that leg. We've got 15 seconds to go. Then we're gonna rest for 15. Honey's gonna change legs, we're gonna do another one. Breathing out, that's it. Three, two, one. Very nice, have a little rest. So, round two, honey, you're gonna do your other leg. Okay, the rest of us, we're gonna squat with our band, tapping out, pull the band above your knees. Okay, so we're gonna squat down and come up. Honey, you need to do your other leg. Right, let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. Breathing out. Now for everyone, grow up nice and tall, tummy pulled in. That's it, shoulders down the back, lift your chest. Breathing out, tummy pulled in. That's it, keep going with your squatting. Honey and I, we're gonna grow nice and tall. Tummy pulled in. That's it, we've got 15 seconds. Make sure those knees stay facing forward. Tummy pulled in. Great job. Shoulders down and back. Beautiful. Three. Two, one, and relax. Nice work. We're going to keep the band around our ankles and take it back down. If you don't have a band, you do it without the band. Standing up nice and tall. We're going to take your one leg out to the side. Hold on to something for balance if you need. The foot is going to stay fractionally off the floor. We're going to take it around behind us and back. Don't put it down. So from the side, we're going round and back. Your standing leg is slightly bent. Keep it slightly bent and facing forward. Don't let that knee roll in or out. Okay, let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Keep this leg nice and strong. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out, squeeze, that's it. So the foot stays just off the floor. This leg that's in the air, pull the quads up nice and tight. <clears throat> Beautiful. 15 seconds to go. That's it. Feel that standing leg really starting to burn. Five. Three. Two. One, very nice. I had to stop, this is my injured side. Right, standing on your other leg. Same exercise, leg slightly bent. This leg that's out to the side, nice and strong. Pull up that kneecap, lift it just off the floor, and let's go. Take it back to the side. 
The leg stays off the floor the whole time. Breathing in and out, making sure that you're not arching your back. So we take it back, grow nice and tall. That's it, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. You can keep holding on for balance. That's it, squeeze the bum. Make sure you're not arching the back. Lean forward slightly with your body so that you're not here because that's going to hurt your back. Honey, be careful you're not arching a little bit. That's it, 15 seconds. Breathing out. Strong leg for five, three, two, one. Very nice. Shake out those legs. All right, taking the band off your feet for now. We're going to go into another arm exercise. Now, if you don't have a band, you can do this. I'm going to give you another option. We're going to hold that TheraBand behind your back. You're going to have your arms bent, sort of put your hands, you can stay standing, I'm just kneeling so you can see me. So you're going to have your hands kind of on your bottom, elbows back. So I look like that, okay. So from here, we're going to pull those shoulder blades down and you want to lengthen those arms away, pull and coming back. If you don't have a band, you do the same. We're just stretching, squeeze, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in and back. You want to have tension in those arms. So that exercise can either be very easy if you're just doing it like throwing your hands back, but if you're really pulling those shoulders down and back, lengthening those arms, making sure you're not arching the back, that's it. So with the band, we're just going to go here. Without the band, you're going to then take your arms up and squeeze back. I want you to bend forward at your hips, tummy pulled in, back nice and straight. Okay, so those of us with a band, up nice and tall, honey, lean forward, bend at your hips. There we go. Now from here, with the band, let's go. We're gonna breathe out, stretch. Think of shoulders down and back. And coming back. That's it, perfect. Shoulder blades pulled down, focus on the down, try and touch the floor, reach those arms out. That's it, keep going Laura and Felix. So honey, as we come up, turn your thumbs up to the ceiling, slide those shoulders down and back. Breathing out, push those hands back. Tummy pulled in, leaning forward, back nice and flat. Felix, you're staying here, arms here, and you're breathing out, stretch. And back, just coming back. It's just because honey doesn't have a band. Breathing out. Squeeze, tummy pulled in. Nice, we're going for five more. Tummy in. Shoulders down and back. That's it. Honey, I want your arms straight. Felix, you keep going as you were. Tummy pulled in, push those hands back. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Really working here. Three more. Two, stretch. That's it, very nice. Last one. Good, and relax, shake out those arms. Very nice. Let's come back onto the mat. We're gonna come back into lying down. Okay, so from here, if you have a band, put the band on your feet. If you don't have a band, you don't need it. We're gonna go into some abs. Lying on your back, band on the feet if you have one. If not, just do exactly the same without the band. So, legs up in tabletop, knees over your hips, tilt that tailbone to your nose so your back is glued to the floor. We're gonna go into our single leg stretch, push and pull, and come back for 45, alternating sides. Now make sure your low back stays glued to the floor. If you find it starts to arch as you lower that leg, lift your legs up a little bit. And breathing out. Tummy pulled in, that's it. Straight, very nice. Lowering the legs as much as you can manage, but as long as you keep that back glued to the floor, tummy pulled in. Beautiful, scooping in those abs. 
Nice, we've got 15 seconds. Breathing out, keep that chin tucked in, core pulled into your spine, back glued to the floor for five, three, two, one. Relax those feet down, give your back a little break or hug your knees into your chest. Very good, we're gonna go into our oblique twist from here. So same action with the legs. Now you're gonna have your hands behind your head and you're gonna twist opposite shoulder to knee. If you need to hug your legs up because your back leaves the floor, that's perfect. Tummy pulled in. Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Twist. Breathing out and twist. Make sure that the shoulder goes to the knee, not just the elbow. Keep your back glued to the floor. I want the leg that goes straight to go dead straight. Pull that knee cap tight. That's it. You want to lock that knee. Straight. There we go. Breathing out as you twist. Tuck your chin in. We got 10 seconds. Get that twist for five. Three. Two. And one. Relax it down. Well done. Have a little rest. We got one more abs here in this series. Phew, felt like a good idea at the time. Right, band around your ankles or just legs on the floor. Have your feet wide like a V. So sort of just a little bit wider than hip distance. Arms above your head. We're gonna go into our roll ups, but with our feet pushing out against the band or just your feet open. So from here, breathing out. Tummy pulled in, lift your arms and head up and breathing out as you roll up. Now, if you need to bend your knees to come up, you absolutely can. Rather than flinging your legs up, I'd rather you bend the knees, hold onto the thighs a little bit and then curling down. Tummy pulled in all the way. That's it. Let's go again. Breathing in, arms and head up. Breathing out, curling up. Remember to bend your knees if you need. That's it, perfect. Reaching forward. Sitting up nice and tall. Slide those shoulders down and curl down. Look at that belly button. Perfect job, we've got four more. Breathing in. And out. If you normally struggle with this and you've got the bands, the bands can help actually to help you come up. Breathing out, curling down. Beautiful. If your knees are bent, it becomes a sit-up, which is perfect. Three more, breathing in, arms and head up. Roll through that spine, breathing out. And reach for your toes. Sitting up tall, curling down. Tummy pulled in all the way. Nice, we've got two more guys, breathing in. And out, use your tummy muscles. Stretch. Sitting up tall, slide those shoulders down, away from the ears, and curl down. Perfect, one more after this. And last one. Reach for your toes, have a stretch, sitting up nice and tall, and curl down, breathing out as you roll down through that spine. Very nice. All right, we're gonna come down on this side, we're gonna go into our glute work. If you have a band, put the band on. If you don't have a band, these exercises are absolutely hard enough without the band. Come and lie on your side facing me. You're gonna have your knees bent up in 90 degrees in front of you, feet of 90, so you've got a little 90-90. We're gonna go into our fire hydrant for 45 seconds. Clam for 45. And then we're going to stretch the leg out and do abduction for 45. Okay. It's going to be a burner. Make sure in setup your top hip is in line with your underneath hip. Tilt that tailbone towards the camera. Tummy pulled in. And let's go. Breathing out as you lift. Now you want to keep your hips facing forward. Don't let yourself roll back. If you have a wall that you can literally be against, you can. Keep those hips facing forward. Imagine you've got headlights. Every time you breathe out, pull those abs in. That's perfect. Everyone's doing it brilliantly. 
Lead with the knee, make sure the knee leads the movement. Tummy pulled in. That's it. 15 seconds. Feel that butt burning. Five, three, two, one, and relax for 15 seconds. We're gonna go into our clam after this, lifting up the feet. Have a little rest. <clears throat> We're going in five seconds, feet up. Tummy pulled in, three, two, one. Let's go open and close the knees. <sighs> Breathing out. Same thing again, keep facing forward. Don't let those hips roll back. Tummy pulled in. That's it, lift those feet up. Breathing out. You wanna have your feet a little higher if you can, but keeping that form. Tummy pulled in, breathing out every time you open and close those knees. That's it, beautiful. We got 15 seconds to go. Breathing out as you open, squeeze that bum. For five, three, two, one, and relax it down. Nice. 15 seconds to rest. We're then going to stretch this top leg out. So you've got the band on your thighs still. Your leg is in line with your body. Tummy pulled in, tilt that pelvis. And we're going to lift this top leg up and down. Let's go. Breathing out. Nice. Now I want you to think of trying to lengthen that leg away from you. Try and touch the wall with your toe so that you're not hitching here at the waist. It's just lifting up and down. Beautiful. Breathing out with each lift. Tummy pulled in. Keep those abs engaged. 20 seconds. While you're here, think of pulling those shoulders down. Tummy pulled in. Nice work, 10 seconds to go. Five, three, two, one, and relax. Very nice, we're gonna come onto the other side. We're gonna go straight into the other side on the glutes. I often give us a rest, but I just feel like today I'm gonna to forget the other side. I gotta know my limits. That kind of day. All right, coming to lie down. Legs bent up in front of you, 90-90. Head down, tummy pulled in. Make sure you tilt that pelvis. And let's go, fire hydrant. Breathing out, lead with the knee. Make sure the hips don't roll back. You wanna keep them facing forward, that's perfect. Breathing out, nice work everyone. Buttons of steel. Your glutes are so important for back pain, hip pain, knee pain, and just for stabilizing us with our core in our stomach, the core in the bum, that holds us all together. 15 seconds. Nice, breathing out as you lift. Good, for five, three, two, one, and rest for 15. We're gonna go into our clam. Breathing out, let's get ready to go. We got five seconds, lifting up those feet. Keep your hips facing forward and let's go. Open and close those knees. <sighs> Breathing out. You wanna try and make sure you've got this little tunnel under your waist still so that you're not hitching here. That's it. <sighs> Breathing out as you lift, shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Nice, very good. 15 seconds, feel the burn. Good job, we got five, three, two, and one. Whew. It burns a little bit more on this side because it's our second side. Now you're gonna stretch that leg out in line with you. Underneath leg stays bent up. Five seconds, hip leg up and down. Let's go, three, two, one. Now remember to try and reach for that wall. You wanna to touch the wall with your foot. 
So lengthen it from your hip and lift up and down. It really activates there. If you move in your whole waist, you don't really feel it. If you lengthen it away, then it burns in the right place. 20 seconds to go. As you breathe out, pull those abs in deeper. Goodness gracious, my legs are going to cramp. We've got 10 seconds. Nice. Five. Three. Two. And one. Woo. Very nice. All right. Coming onto the mat, we're going to do a set of push-ups. So, if you've got your band, you're going to put the band around your arms. If you don't, you're doing it without the band. Remembering when you do your push-up, I'll show you quickly. Hands over the shoulders, shoulders over your hands, body nice and straight. You want a straight line from your shoulder down to the knees, dropping down and up. As you push up, you don't want to kind of do a cobra where you arch your back. And when you're going down, you either, you don't want to stick your bum out, you don't want to arch your back. Okay, let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. Breathing in and pushing out. Nice. Really squeeze that bottom and push the floor away. Very good. That's amazing. We're going for 45 seconds. If you want to do five push ups, stop, have a rest. Five, keep your form. Tummy pulled in. We've got. For 20 seconds to go. Really pull that tummy in. Nice work. Don't arch your back. Really lift up that back. Squeeze your bottom. For five, three, two, one. Very nice. Come back into a child's pose. Have a little stretch. Nice. Now we're going to go into a lunge, but we're going to do it with the band if you've got. So, have your right leg in front. If you don't have a band, you're just doing a plain lunge with us. You're going to put the band under your right foot, hold it in your left hand. So I'm crossed over. Tuck those, that foot under at the back. You want to be up nice and tall, shoulders down and back. We're going to go up and down. If you can, you're going to go all the way into a dead stop lunge. So your knee touches the back and then you're lifting up the whole way. Okay, so we're going to go one side for 45 seconds, then change sides. Let's go in three, two, one. Breathing up. Coming all the way down. If you can, put your knee down. But if you have any knee issues, just go into that lunge. Breathing out. Now push through this front heel. It's that front leg that's doing the work. Have your legs a little bit wider so that when you're in the front, so Hanley, put your front foot further forward. There, perfect. Because we don't want to hurt your knee. You want to activate that bum. Shoulders down and back. Tummy pulled in. We got 15 seconds to go. That's it. Breathing out. Very nice, for three, two, one, and changing legs, very nice. So make sure that your front leg, your knee is over your ankle. Use that band around your left foot, right hand. Tuck the toes under at the back, shoulders down the back. That's it, all right. Let's go in three, two, one. Breathing out as you push up. And I want you to think of pushing up through this front heel. Keep those abs engaged. Lift the chest, slide the shoulders down and back. That's it. When you push up, try not to push forward onto that front leg. Think of pushing directly up. So have a look at that front leg when you're down, that it's over your ankle. That's it, I'm pushing up, beautiful. 15 seconds, 
Tummy pull in, shoulders down and back. Breathing out as you lift. For five, three, two, one. Relax it down, well done. Coming onto your back, we're gonna do a little bit more abs without the band this time. Okay, so hands behind your head. We're gonna go into a crunch. Now we don't often do the crunch. We normally do a full sit up. But for a crunch, you wanna breathe up, roll that pelvis towards you. Breathing in to hold and breathing out to lower. Okay, so I want you when you hear those abs must stay connected the whole time. You breathe in, curling down. I'm gonna have my hand here just so I can see you guys, but you put your hands behind your head. Let's go, breathing out to roll up. Pulling that belly button in, chin on your chest, hold it, breathe in. Curling down, nice. And breathing out to come up. Hold it there, breathing in. Breathing out to curl back down, very good. We got five more, breathing out. Lift the head and shoulders. Crunch your shoulders to your hips, hold it. Tuck your chin in and curling down. Make sure your chin is on your chest. Lifting up, hold, breathe in and out. Good, last two, breathing out. Hold it there, pause and curling down. Last one, breathing out. Pause, high as you can, hold it and breathing out, very nice. Keeping on your back, take your feet quite far out so that normally we have them bent here. You want to take those feet nice and far away from you. So your legs are about 30 degrees bent. We're going to work the hamstrings. Arms either up to the ceiling or you can place them on the mat to help you. We're going to lift up, pushing the hips up, squeeze and hold and down. Now from here, you're lifting up. Have your feet further away from you, Felix, a little bit further, so it feels like it's too far. You can see they're kind of 30 degrees bent. As far as you can, have them as far away from your feet as you can. Let's go. So you really feel those hammies. Move those feet a little further out. Squeeze, hold, and down. We've got five more, breathing out. Squeeze and hold, make sure those abs are engaged. And down, four. Push, squeeze, hold. And down, three more. Breathing out to lift. And down, very nice, last two. Tummy pulling, breathing out, lifting up, pause and hold. And down, last one. And down, very nice, hugging those knees into the chest. That's just working the hamstrings a little bit. Always be careful that that doesn't hurt your back. If you feel your back at all, bring your feet in a little bit closer. All right, from here, hold your left knee in, stretch that right leg out. Along the floor, nice and relaxed. Good, pulling that knee open opening it up, not pulling it across you. We're now opening up the hip away from the midline. So we're stretching that hip capsule. And now bring it up, change hands, pull it across. So you're stretching out your low back, give yourself space. Your opposite hand, my left hand must be on the floor, palm facing up. Breathing out, that's it. And coming back into the middle, hug both knees into your chest. Holding that right knee in, stretch the left leg out. Breathing out, opening up the hip, taking the hip out away from the midline. That's it, awesome job. Now pulling it across and stretching it out. Getting that knee down to the floor, have your right hand out to the side, palm facing up. 
Beautiful, breathing out. That's it, and bring it in towards you, hugging those knees into your chest. Rolling up, we're just gonna roll like a ball, just as a last thing to loosen off that back and the shoulders. So sitting on your bottom, have your feet up off the floor, gently resting your hands on your shins. Make a ball, curl, look at your belly button. You're gonna roll back. When you come up, I don't want you to pull too much on the legs. Try and just use your stomach. Let's go, breathing out to roll. Nice. Go back, use some momentum. Use those abs, very nice. Keep your feet off the floor. Let's go for two more. Last one. And coming up into sitting, well done. Let's just loosen up the neck a little bit. Look over your right shoulder and over the left. Loosening off that neck with the shoulder work we did, it might get a little bit tight. Now roll your chin all the way down to look at the left side and repeat all the way down. Look at the right, let's go one more, breathing out. That's it. And last time. Well done, guys. Thank you so much. A great class. A little midweek strength band class. Nice.